Hi, welcome everyone to my next uh, Let's Play. Uh, this is actually a early release game. It's still in the alpha, um, so there are going to be a lot of updates on the on this series. Um, uh, for this one, I'm actually joined by a good friend of mine and my cousin, Alex. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see that you remembered I'm your cousin after, but what? yeah. Friend first, family second. <laughs> Technically, you're my, you're my, would, technically, you're kind of like my adopted younger brother. <laughs> I was about to say, I've always considered you like a brother to me, and you don't even remember we're related first. What? All right, let's stop this. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is, uh, this is kind of a, uh, farming sim simulator kind of thing where you're these, uh, prisoners of this Roman emperor dude, and he kind of, like, I guess he just doesn't want to deal with you anymore, and he kind of set you out loose and he says okay you can have your freedom as long as you pay a bribe and give me wheat and uh so let's go ahead and create our character first sort of like the oregon trail only with more romans and less dying of dysentery yeah so your character starts off uh you have a choice about these different professions that you can start off with and these are all like basically specializations and each, uh, each group has uh, a passive skill, innate skill, whatever you want to call it, that they always have. And then you get to choose um, an additional skill to help you, uh, you know, do, do special things. Like the Speed Reaper, the first harvest each month performed by Gardener, cost only one action. And the significance of that will be, brought, will be uh, seen later on. Uh, for now... Um, I'm actually going to do my standard start as a ranger. I actually like uh, uh, doing it uh, using the ranger because it kind of it kind of keeps it your food levels always available. Um, mm -hmm. We've uh, we've been testing out some of the other uh, other professions and and we'll actually make further videos on them later in the line. But for the first video, I want to kind of stick with the class that I know I can probably hopefully survive <laughs> what he means is we played artisan and then everyone died in three days because my 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 uh teammate couldn't catch anything in the woods or fish even after i gave him a barbed, spe barbed spear uh okay so the rangers their innate skill is uh, they have combat bonuses with ranged weapons based on experience and they can equip any ranged weapon without restriction um then there's Special skills are tracking, which um, uh, improves hunting success. Also, automatically assesses concentration of game or game or predators in a hex, and a critical skill for those who want to rely on the game for eating. Uh, for us, we do typically uh, hunt a lot because um, not only does hunting give you food, but it also gives you crafting supplies that, that are very valuable later on in the game. Uh, Wild Home allows the ranger to take one action each turn and turn in an unclaimed hex um, these are, this is actually a good skill um, but I usually get this one uh, after my character levels up uh, as your character levels up you can actually unlock more of these skills so just because you choose one doesn't mean that's good that's gonna be like your one skill you, you'll actually be able to not only choose other skills but there are also upgrades of these skills um, uh, forestry uh, can clear cut forests, automatically assess the health of, health of forests, as well as prevent uh, loss of timber levels when the ranger collects it. Um, that's very good because uh, if you over harvest a forest, uh, the game levels go down and the forest has a chance of turning into a meadow, which at that point, really the only thing you can do with it is hope the game comes back or just slash and burn make it into a yeah make it into a farm plot and then foraging when claiming land with a ranger your party receives a small amount of wild food if the terrain is suitable which i've never actually had this one before i've i've, I've worked with these other three but i've mm -hmm. never actually survived long enough to unlock a fourth skill and and uh it's not, incorporate it's it. a, not a very useful skill considering as i recall you're not very big on the uh, reaching out into the wilderness yeah well i mean it, we could do a we could do a round uh, where we explore more this time 
because I I, feel, I, find, I thought that um, the bribes were based off of your the amount of land you have claimed, but it's not. It's a it's a it's a standard. It really is just point of the game. Yeah, it, it's a it's a a static uh, amount. So no matter how big it, your your land is, you you'll always have. Um, Right, but the problem with that is that you do have to claim land every time in order to get use the ability. Yeah. Well, uh, I think starting with tracking is probably the best option. All right. So, Martius the Fourth, uh, SPQR, Ananum, something, something, or another. I can still hear the mocking laughter of Marius in my ears. To have come so far and to have fallen into Roman hands at the last minute seems like fate. But the gods yet offer us a drop of nectar of hope to bolster our resolve. The fool will pay us under uh, pay for underestimating us. For now, we must focus on obtaining the rudiments of survival and amass the wheat's shipment, along with some money for his continued indulgence. We must have time to re reverse our fortunes, and for now, we can buy it. The republic is weak and corrupt and consumed by internal warfare. Now is the time to seize what we can and hold fast. Let the die be cast. What we can see is being about an acre and a half of land. Yeah, I would guess. I've never actually, never actually saw how far I can actually explore in this. But uh, we got a pretty good start this time. I'm a little sad with that. We have a ooh. Never mind. There's a sodden lockbox there, so that means we get like a free item. So that's cool. All right. Um. So these are my these are my teammates. Lydia and Caius. Caius is the fool who couldn't catch a fish last time, so hopefully... That was his, that was his cousin, Caius. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have better luck this time. Um, yeah. So first things first, though, we need to plant our wheat so that we can start preparing for our wheat bribe, or whatever you want to call it, offering... Um, now each the of these, tax. yeah, each of these uh, farmlands actually have a different kind of like soil and richness level and things like that. So what kind of plants you produce there affect how much uh, nutrients is left over after harvest and things like that. Or um, some plants actually um, uh, rejuvenate the soil as well. Um, however, uh, so normally I probably shouldn't have planted wheat here because it only does good in loam soil. But uh, to start off, I like to do two, um, yeah. because it gives me. It should a, be fine. Yeah, it, it should gives, be fine in the silt. Yeah, it gives me a nice boost in that beginning, so it gives me a little leeway. All right, and now let's do some hunting. Game. You know what occurred to me? The uh, the hunter's the ranger sprite is green, like has a green skin. The what? The ranger sprite has green skin. Is he green? I thought that was just a cloak. No, even on his face. He is. Dude's green. That's. What kind of messed up uh, ancestry does he have? Maybe it's camo. Maybe like face paint or something like that. I mean, nah, this. I'm sticking with. I'm sticking with the idea that he's descended from Kermit. Well, come on! Can't you go something a little cooler like Namekian? <laughs> All right. Um. So we just kind of succeeded in fishing or hunting. Let's. He found a bunny. Yeah. Let's. We're gonna need some more. No, stop failing. <laughs> Wait. Somewhere, a dead man named Caius is chuckling as he gets his his vengeance. There we go. All right. So we got one hide, two great meats. So he must have killed the deer. Yep. Yeah. You. All right. Oops. Three great meats would be a bear. One normal meat, it's a rabbit. All right, and so that's pretty much how the turns go. And then each turn is a month. So if that was March, now it's April, and now we have two sick people. Great. Oh, that was quick. Let's try and get them back up. Hearty meals for everyone, because my character can manage to hunt, unlike others. Because when you have a cold, your first instinct is to shovel as much food as possible into your mouth. Well, at least, at least it's raining, so nobody has to water the plants. We can just send them to go to sleep. 
Alright, what'd you find? But that doesn't stop guys from being sent out into the marshland. I... They, oh, they get to sleep a... once. <laughs> yeah. And he found a flint sickle. There you go. Way to contribute, Caius. Alright. I'll go sleep. Alright, now it's all up to my hunter now, so let's actually uh, do some exploration. Because uh, this is actually a good way to get a lot of survival ex experience. Another uh, marshland. And then... Let's go fishing. Don't forget to equip the, the sickle. To someone. Uh, I don't need to equip it right now because that's only usable for harvests. That's its only yeah. bonus. Yeah, I'm just thinking it pays to get it done ahead of time. Alright, uh, three fish, six asparagus. Alright, asparagus. Alright, they're all healthy again. Good. Well, Caius is still Caius, so that counts as a handicap, I think. <laughs> That in itself is an illness. No! Alright, uh, how about one less fish? Er. This will be exact? It won't be exact, but I'm trying to. I was trying to not have to. I, I just hate eating asparagus and ha just for one point. Yeah. It seems like such a waste. Oh well. Better than wasting the fish. Better than my people mm. starving. <laughs> Alright, Lydia. I usually have Lydia do all my farming, so have her water the crops. Now I I want Caius to start doing some crafting stuff, so I need timber. That's a ranger action. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. last action to create a handle. There we go. Caius gets to make a, a stick wrapped in twine. That's his contribution for the month. Hey, those handles are going to be valuable. Yeah. Alright, um... He didn't even do very well at it. You might want to start looking around try and find a mountain. Yeah, I know, but I, I gotta get the food as well. Yeah, I gotta get the food, I, I, I noticed. Ah. There we go. And most of that's gonna go to waste. Yeah, one fish. There's actually a, a way to preserve the fish, and they, they act just like the pickled asparagus. Um, yeah, you gotta build a pickling a thing, pickling a jar. No, 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 the smoker, the smoking room. Oh. Yeah, right here, smoking hut. Oh. Uh, and then, uh, but that also costs a lot of firewood as well. But uh, but I think it it's automatically like, preserves fish indefinitely. Yeah, so it's it's worth it. Fair enough. Uh, I, I was actually wanting to try and mess around with that later. But for with now, the what? Later. Oh, okay. Alright, there's some more timber. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and end the turn. Yes. So, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and keep uh, Caius focused on crafting. Um, Lydia, of course, yeah. stick with the agriculture, because I want her to be a gardener. You need a stone. I have no so mountain. That you, get, you either gotta find it. Yeah. Well, you can make it in the meadow that you keep Barnabas in. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. If you have tim timber. There. I'd have your ranger uh, get that. So uh, Kaya still has an action. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, either way, it counts as a construction experience. Fair enough. That's a good point. Go ahead. Yeah, if we're trying to get Kaya to level up into artists.